G'day guys, welcome back. Take three. <laughs> Take three with the hummingbirds. I'm going to do this if it kills me. Right, so first of all, I used the interference powders. Um, and I got these guys. A bit darker than what I was wanting. And then I used chameleon powders and got these two. A little bit better, but still really quite dark. And then I said to you guys, I'm going to look back on my video where I did these two. Now look at the difference. Can you guys see the difference in those colours? Now, what do you think I did differently with these? <gasps> yes, you may ask. Well, with those ones, I dusted my silicon inlays with the other two sets I did I dusted the resin yes and I'm thinking that's the only difference that I've done so I'm going back and I'm going to dust the silicon molds because you know when I did the other one this one and I said oh you know I was dusting the background and I said it's it's like it's not going on properly it's too smooth I think it's the I think it's the same these have got more grip on them so I think that's my theory anyway I think that's that's what it is so we'll test that theory shall we <laughs> because you know it, it is easy you know, you, you put your resin in, if you didn't see those ones, go back and watch it so you know what I'm saying. You put the resin in, you put these in upside down. When it's cured, you peel it out, you dust your resin. That's what I mean about dusting the resin. So now I'm dusting the actual silicone inlay. I personally think that that's, <laughs> hopefully, cross fingers, cross fingers that it's going to work because I can't think of anything else. So with this one, I'm going to do the body one color. Actually, I think I'll do his little beak one color, the same as his body. And then I'm going to do the, the wings and his little shaky's tail feather in a different color. But I just got to make sure I get the sides as well. So now I've gone back to the chameleon powders. These are by nick pro n-i-c-p-r-o i got them from amazon seem to be nice all right so that's that one it looks kind of greeny gold oops i haven't got the lid on properly I'm gonna get the lid on properly that one says green gold blue so that's that one now i'm just going to wipe this on a bit of paper towel and clean off my little brush the next one is red blue purple so i'm going to do his little wings in that one and hopefully oh my gosh hopefully this will work you guys because i was just at my wits end i thought why why is this not working <laughs> and then yeah of course i looked back and um i didn't i didn't dust the actual silicon mold i think the silicone has just got that little bit of a bit more adhesion you know than just a, a plain resin which is more glass like I guess and I think the the powders just don't stick to it like they stick to my silicon inlays so we shall test that now you've seen me do one I'm gonna do the other one you don't need to watch me do it I'll tell you what the colors are and then I'll do it and then um, I'll come back what do you particularly want to watch me do them I don't think so. So as you can see, I'm doing, I don't want to do it in the mold. I don't want to dust them in the mold because I'm just going to make a mess. Okay, so that's that one. Now with the other little hummingbird, I've got red, orange, yellow and purple, red, green. So I'm going to do him. Um, oh, look, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. You can fast forward if you want to. I'll just do it. All right, so this one's certainly more of an orangish color, isn't it? So I'll do his, oh, that's pretty. I'll do his body, same, body and little beak in this one. Now this mold is my 10 centimeter wide 
mold. It's a four inch wide, um, but it is one centimeter deep, so it's a bit deeper than my regular. I've got two 10 centimeter molds and I've got two 12 centimeter molds. So, oh gosh, I've gone up into the wing part. Oh no, because it looks that's different there, it looks different. Um, so yeah, this is the deep one. If you want to do the inlays, your silicon inlays, uh, if you do want to buy my moulds, buy the deep one. You can see that the that's part of his, it looks like it's part of his body. You can see that. Right, I'm just trying to wipe that off. Can't matter if a little bit of it stays. Oh gosh, I could have been a little bit more careful, couldn't I? All right. Just use a little brush when you're doing this. Okay, and then the, the rest of it is going to be in the other colour. So yeah, w when these are done, I can just peel them up off my board and place them directly into my mould. I will actually give them a little bit of shake, 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 away from my mould, just to get any excess off. Probably did need to do that one in the, this bluey one, but never mind. Never mind. I'll just be happy if it works, you guys. But look, I'm, as I've always said, I'm happy to put up a video that hasn't really worked, you know, as well as I may have expected it to. Because I think, well, it's how I learn and hopefully it's, it's how you guys learn too. If you wanted to, you could put a little black dot before you put the powder on. You could do, put a little... Um, black dot with your, your Sharpie pen to, for his little eyeball. I guess I could have, I forgot about it. All right, now I'm just going to carefully lift him up and I'm just going to take him over here and just give him a bit of a, a shake. And I'm going to, you have to place him down and then leave him. You, you, can't, you can't move him, okay? Make sure that your mould is clean. Make sure that your inlay is clean. Shake, shake, shake. And hopefully he's in the right spot. Okay, so now spray a little bit of alcohol on some paper towel. Let's clean this up. Clean studio is a good studio. <laughs> All right. So that's that done. Now, you need to kind of push them down, but don't use your fingers, okay? Because um, the powder will come off on your fingers. So just pop a glove on. Because I did it once. So I pushed it down and it came off on my finger. Now I'm just going to push. Push, push, push. Change fingers here. Change colours. I got a little finger left. <laughs> there we go, just as well. I've got four fingers to use. All right, so that's it. That's all I'm doing. You probably get a little bit of under, like resin flowing underneath, maybe, just because I can't really push them down as hard as I would like to. I need to clean up that edge. Okay, so I'm going to go and mix up my clear silicone now. Fill that. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Right, oh, I have mixed up my resin. It's the Platinum 360 Plus. And I did, I did 90 grams of A and 40 grams of B. So let's just pour this in. <clears throat> I'm not going to pour it on the actual hummingbird. I don't want to move the, the colours too much, the powders. So I'll just go around the edge and let the resin kind of creep up and over the top and hopefully it won't um, dislodge too much. All right, I'll come back to that one. So when you're doing this, you, you need more resin in your first layer, your top layer to cover your silicone inlays. And then when you do your background, um, so when you, like we turn these over and we um, take the little inlays out, and then that's when you decide if you want to 
just fill in the inlay cavity with black or whether you want to cover the whole coaster surface with black. So you just got to make sure that your, you know, your mold is deep enough to accommodate. Oh, we're floating. No! I thought it might not stick properly because I couldn't push it down very well. It's floating away. Go back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, let's just stick him down. Yeah, like I said, if we do get a little bit of overflow or underflow underneath it, it's not going to be a drama. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's clean that off because there's a little bit of color on it. Now I can see he's sticking his little tail further up. <laughs> Bubbles coming out. See, that's, I guess that's, that's the, um, the downside of maybe sitting them out here and dusting them rather than sticking them down and then dusting them they might not get you know as good a seal probably got a little bit of dust underneath a little bit of powder underneath and it's just not sticking but now they are They're, they are sticking down but yeah i probably will have a little bit of resin gone underneath which is fine it's not going to matter Reaching for my torch. Alright, so this one's covered. This one needs a little bit more. Just to cover his little back there. Over you go. There we go. Make sure you get a good covering. You don't want it to be too thin. Now, let's look across the top and see if they're about the same. So I probably won't use all this. I do want to leave a little bit of room just in case I decide to do a full back coat. With this one, this one I just filled in the back. You can see there. I unmolded it, took the silicon inlay out, filled it in with black and then left the, uh, the rest of it clear, which is, it's really pretty. So you can do that. Um, I'm thinking maybe do clear, but put a little bit of this pinky holographic glitter around the outside just for some interest um, but you certainly could put the black on the whole thing it just means taking it out laying it on a little cup and pouring black over the actual cavity and the whole surface so that's an option which do you prefer anyway I've got some time to think about it because this needs to set so I have got some time to think about it but I went and had a look at my my glitters and I thought this might be a nice a nice one so anyway I'll, I'll keep an eye on it make sure there's no oh there's a bubble make sure there's no bubbles clinging to the, the sides if you can see them just dislodge it I'll zap that in a minute when it comes up to the surface hair on that. Just going to run my little silicone stick ever so gently around the edge. Just dislodge any bubbles that are there. Hopefully they'll come to the surface and then I can just pop them with my torch. There's one. Come out. It's not too bad. Like it's really nice, nice thin resin. A little bit thicker this time of year when we're in winter but you can pop it in some hot water if you do want to thin it even more. All right, gotcha. All right, so that's it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do, you guys. Oh, look at that. It's a hair. I'm not sure if I want to do clear or if I want to do black. Not sure, not sure. See, if you use these, because they're so fine, they float. Whereas if you do these, like the glass, it stays on the bottom um, and doesn't float over the top. So it's something to think about as well. Anyway, I will have a think about what I want to do. And uh, I will see you in about six hours when they're ready to unmold. That's what they're looking like at the moment. 
Spencer. Spence, where are you, buddy? Let's go find Spencer. Spencer, oh, there he is. Spencer. <laughs> Look at him. Hello, baby. <laughs> He's 14 weeks. He's tiny, isn't he? He wanted to come in and watch me video. Hello, gorgeous boy. Hello. Hi. Hello. All right, I'll see you in six hours, guys. Right, it is a couple of days later. I got sidetracked. I was busy making moulds. Takes a long time. <laughs> it takes a lot of my time making moulds for everyone that's ordered. Right, let's get that out. Actually, what am I doing? It needs to go back in again. Uh, and no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You could. You could put it back in, but you don't need to. All right, now, let's see if I can. Oh, gosh, I can feel resin over the back oh look okay so a lot of it's crept under I'm gonna have to cut that resin to get that out this one too I don't know why yeah I'm, I'm wondering if it's because these little silicone inlays are quite light and maybe they're just tending to float what you could do I was just thinking it what you could do is Put your inlay in and just put a tiny bit of resin in just to sort of stick it down. Let that sort of get set a bit and then top the rest up so it doesn't float. That would work. That would be a good idea. All right, let me see if I can get these out um, and, and I'll come back to you. I'm just using my little, oh, shaking. <laughs> just using my little nail clippers here. My little cuticle clippers. Seeing if that will help. Okay, see so that's it's quite a bit gone over. It's never happened to me before. There we go. <laughs> There's a piece. So yeah. I guess you could try that. There's another piece. Um, yeah, if, if it's floating, do what I do what I say, not as I do, and see if that'll work. flung across the other side of the room oh gosh got it okay well this looks as if it's going to work so I'll just do the rest of it um, and the other one and that's the silicone there and yeah and then I'll make I'll mix up my black uh, and then yeah I'll come back to you then I think I'm going to just put um, you could just you know put black on the inside and then leave it clear oh, I don't know I don't know I don't know anyway I'll be back I'll have a think about it while I pick the resin off the back now before I mix up my black resin I wanted to talk to you about this so what you can do is once you've peeled your little silicone insert out and, you know, if I had done this, peeled it out on the same day, rather than waiting two days, um, the resin would have been so much easier just to pick off. So try and do that. I always say, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, it would have been so much easier to just to pick off. So think about that when you're, when you're doing it, your timing. So... Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can either pop him back into the mold, like so, and pour your black on. Uh, the only issue is you may have a little bit of black run down the edges because it's not a you know a watertight seal anymore because we've broken the seal. So you can do that. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get a little cup. Turn it upside down and I'm going to pop that there. I guess you could do it that way as well. I think it sits better that way. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to pour the black over that. But yeah, um, definitely would have been easier to do it the same day, to take this out the same day. Oh, there's a little bit there that I've missed. Because the resin's still a little bit soft and 
Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Pewing, flung over. All right, now, the other thing, might help if I turn that over. When you are doing doming, as in a top coat, you have to use the right resin. There's no point using a really thin, runny resin because what it's going to do is it's going to get to the edges, it's going to pull back and it'll leave all these little bald spots around the edges. So pick your resin wisely. It needs to be a thick resin. It's usually a one-to-one -one ratio rather than a two-to-one. Um, and if you can get one that says coating resin or art resin or something like that, you know, to coat a painting, um, yeah, that would be ideal. Right, so I'm just going to use the 360 plus because I know it works well, even though it's a two to one. Um, I could use the art coat. I could, I could. Um, maybe I could try that for a change. Anyway, I'm going to mix up my resin, some black. I might even put a little bit of, a bit of sparkle in it. Yeah, let's do that. I've got a little bit of black sparkle. I'll be right back. Righto, got my resin. I mixed uh, 50 grams of A, 22 grams of B. It's probably way too much. <laughs> now I'm just going to pop a little bit of black pigment paste in there. Don't need a lot of it. Any black pigment paste will do fine. Must remember not to stir too rapidly like I do with my acrylic pouring paints because I stir those much faster because you don't want to get bubbles in it. All right, so I have got this. It's called Black Magic. It's sort of a shimmery, shimmery black, blacky silvery kind of a colour. <laughs> I don't know. Quite sure what it's going to do in the black, but let's just pop a little bit in. Let's go like half a spoon and just see what happens. You might not even be able to see it at all. Just cleaning my little spoon off. Get yourself a little flat, it's flat on both sides, a little silicone brush that'll just help to spread it to the edges. Okay, let's have a look at this, see what it's going to do. Now you might not even notice it at all, I guess, but the pigments may sink to the bottom. Oh, no, look, I can see a shimmer. I can, I can, I can, yay. A little shimmer. I didn't want to take it away from the blackness, you know, the darkness of it, but a little shimmer would be nice, I think. All righty. Now, um, I am going to just, because it's rough in there, I'm just going to spray a little bit of 100% alcohol into my little birdie. should be using a paper cup for this, shouldn't I? There we go, into the little birdie. Doesn't matter if I overflow. If you wanted to keep it clear, then obviously it would matter if it overflows, but because I'm going to cover the whole thing, it does not matter if I overflow. Let's just bang that a little bit. Make sure the resin's getting into all the little nooks and crannies. All right, so here we go. Doming. Basically, we just pour some on, like so. I'm just going to do one at a time. Or maybe I'll just do just do one and then do the other one. So with my flat edge, I'm just pulling the resin from the inside towards the edge. And I'll do it slowly, so I'm going right over like that. And I'm doing it fast now, but what I'm doing is just pulling the... Pulling my little stick right over the edge. So what I'll do is I'll I'll just spread it all first. I keep forgetting to use my turntable. I do have one, like a little, you know, as Lazy Susan, 
It's much easier. And then you could just turn that rather than trying to get around like this. Oh, gosh. Sometimes I make life hard for myself. So I'm just going out all the way to the edges and then I will pour more onto the top and let it spread. Don't jump off. And again, make sure your work surface is really level. Okay, so that's, whoops, whoops, I've spilt. This is where I need my baby wipe. A little tub of baby wipes here, so I'll just wipe that off. Okay, so now I'll just put a little bit more on. See how it's pulling away from the edges there? Um, that's what it'll, that's what it'll do if your resin is a really thin resin. Um, but I mean, it's doing that because I haven't got enough resin on this side. It's beautiful. See that side there? I just didn't have enough on, which I knew I didn't have enough. Why is this wobbling? See, it's, it goes right to the edge there. Try not to have it spill down the side because then you're going to break that surface tension. And once it's broken, then it'll all just run down the side. So try to keep it on the top. Ta-da! It's more difficult going that way. Right, so that one can just sit there for a minute while I move on to the next one. And yeah, it's it's that easy. You guys might say, oh, it's not easy, but it is it is easy if you've got the right products. I've tried this with the Platinum Ultra Clear and Platinum Super Clear. Um, they're, they're a really, really thin resin. They're great for other things, but for doming, no. I like the 360 Plus for doming. It's wobbling as well. I don't know why we're wobbling. But yeah, any any coating resin will... I can't say will because I don't know. I haven't tried them all. Should work. That's what they're for. They're for coating and doming. And I'll take you down in a minute so that you can see what I mean about doming. The edges are sort of curved. They go round like that. They're domed. I just stuck my finger in that one. Oh gosh. Now this one hasn't got quite enough. See, it hasn't gone right to the edge there. So we'll just put a little bit more on. Now be careful when you're adding it. Don't put a whole heap on to begin with. Do what I did. Start with a little bit. Um, you can always add more because if you put too much on, it'll just all run off the edge and then, oh my gosh, it'll just be a big mess, won't it? So use your little stick. Pull the resin to the edges. It's got to touch the edges because it needs to cling to the edge so it's got to touch the edge that's why i go over the edge like that needs to touch that edge that way it'll grab hold all right so that's it now i don't have to worry about burning any silicon molds so give it a good torch I'm thinking this one needs a tiny bit more i can still see a little bit of an edge just there And just come back and check it because the resin moves and settles and everything. So don't just say, okay, we're done and walk away. Come back in five minutes. Make sure that, you know, it has got a nice coverage and it hasn't sort of wandered. All right. That's looking really pretty. I am going to get you down for a, a close-up. And something already has flown into it. Gosh. Oh, I'm liking that little sparkle. It's pretty. I know you're just looking at two black coasters now, but I want to see if I can... I know there's lots of glare in that now, but... Mm. Try to show you. See the edges? You can look at it in the reflection there. <laughs> it's reflecting the trees outside. 
It doesn't know what to focus on. There you go. Anyway, hopefully you can see what I mean. I'm sorry with the focusing. Poor camera doesn't know what to focus on. But um, yeah, that is what we call doming. That's looking good. Check all your edges, make sure nothing's pulling away. That's just a bit of light catching on the edge there. But yeah, looking good. Right here, guys, I'm back. They're done. So we can pop them down there. And now these, just to remind you, these were the ones that I did last week and I wasn't happy with them. So these ones I dusted the resin cavity, not the silicon inlay. Okay, so that's what I got. Still really beautiful, but they're just not as colorful as I would have liked. And I can't really show you the, the change of color because we're just getting ring light reflection. So that was dusting the resin now these oh i really like this i don't know if you can see can you see the sparkle and it's probably a little bit difficult to to pick up but um yeah it's a really there it is it's a really gorgeous sparkle <laughs> it's a pity that's the back all right <clears throat> without further ado shall we have a look i don't know which is like the top or the bottom. Let's have a little look, you guys. Oh, I am nervous. Oh, oh, it worked, you guys. It worked. Let's move that one out of the way. Oh, it worked. What do you think of my sparkle background? Wow. Okay. So that's really pretty. So this is, there's the difference. You can just see that it's much much brighter now i wonder if i can pick up again it's a bit difficult to pick up because of the glare like the color shift i don't know <laughs> probably not all right let's have a look at this one <clears throat> hopefully it's worked as well oh there he is oh, it's so pretty oh wow it looks as if he's flying in the night sky, doesn't he? He's surrounded by all those little stars. So pretty. Oops. Focus. Alrighty. You can kind of see it. See the edges of the wings there? It's kind of picking up that golden look. <clears throat> Again, every time I tilt it to show you the color change, all I'm doing is picking up a ring light in the reflection so anyway there they are oh wow they I'm, I'm really happy with those so that's the difference you guys so from what I could see uh, dusting the silicone inlay works much better than dusting the actual resin cavity after you've removed the inlay I, I think it's just because maybe more powder clings to the silicon inlay rather than it doesn't really cling to the the resin um, I think it's too shiny <laughs> whereas the silicon's got a little bit more grip anyway that's my theory um, so yeah I think I think I've proved it hopefully I've proved it so that's them there all right we'll see if I can go in a little bit closer anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video um, Hopefully it's sort of helped some of some people. I know it's helped me because I could not work out why these weren't doing what they were supposed to do. All right. So thanks again for watching. And um, I have got more silicon inlays that I want to use. So there will be more videos coming. Hope you're not getting sick of them. Maybe I can come down this way a little bit. Mm. around that way I'm trying to pick up the color change you guys it's tricky it's tricky <laughs> and there's those two 
I know I only did those in one color and I did these in like two colors, but yeah, oh, they look really pretty. All right, got to go move on to other things. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.